Hey YouTubers, this is Media Cure and I'm Brad. Hey, I wanted to come make a comment about this story on uh, Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, and he reported to his constituents this past week that New York state income taxes, their revenue, is $2.3 billion short. Now, this is a quote by Andrew. That's a $2.3 billion drop in revenues. That's as serious as a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, Andrew, it is. He goes on to say, This is worse than we had anticipated. This reduction must be addressed in this year's budget. Well, that sounds pretty, uh, that's a lot of common sense demonstrated there by Andrew Cuomo. I'll give him that. But then he turns right around and just says something really profoundly stupid. He blamed President Trump's new federal tax code for their problems. And here's what he said. It was politically diabolical and also highly effective. And if your goal is to help Republican states and hurt Democratic states, this is the way to do it. No, Andrew. Uh, President Trump is not your problem. Your excessive taxation of the folks in New York is your problem. And uh, you've been taxing the rich into despair. Uh, and, and here's another quote. Tax the rich, tax the rich, tax the rich. And then the rich leave. And then what do you do? Well, that's, a, that's another little, little glimmer of common sense there by Andrew Cuomo. I'm going to give him that. Um, he goes on to say, makes another accurate statement, God forbid if the rich leave. Well, no joke, Sherlock. If that's how you feel, and you feel like rich people are essential to your economy in New York, how come you treat them the way you do? How's come every time you open your mouth or people from your fine state like Ocrasio Cortez make a statement about how the rich need to pay their fair share? How's come you keep running your mouth in that direction? You know, pretty soon people start leaving and that's what they're doing. And to blame it on Donald Trump's new tax code, it's not going to float. Because here's the facts, Jack, that the federal income tax revenue increased in 2018 by 9%. That's after the tax code changed by Donald Trump. And that's from Investors Business Daily. Despite the lower income tax withholding schedules not taking effect until February, revenue for the first half of the year was higher than that of the previous year. In fact, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office reported that in the first half of 2018, federal income tax revenues were $76 billion higher in the same, than in the same period of 2017. No, Andrew. If you get off of rich people's butts, reduce taxes, stimulate economic growth, bring in people to start businesses and provide jobs instead of running them off toward Florida or any, any place south of the Mason-Dixon line, things would be going better in New York. It's amazing. You got a governor New or a mayor in New York City, de Blasio, free health care for everybody. Who pays for this stuff? You, you cannot continue to tax people into despair, and then on the other hand, lament the fact that rich people are leaving, and your tax revenues are suffering because of it. You can't have your cake and eat it too. They want it both ways. And while Andrew Cuomo is at times uh, capable of some sane remarks, it's that libtard gene that kicks in, and before you know it, they're blaming Trump. And, you know, we, we know how this is going to go. The Obamas were blaming the Bushes, you know, into their second term. 
And the same will be true in New York. Hey, comment. Doesn't matter if you disagree or agree. Like and subscribe. Uh, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching my video.